Hi, this is Simpe from the Center for Risk Analysis. In this morning's video, we share with you some of our insights into the implications of declining societal confidence in the current ANC government. And in particular, what this could mean for the support of the economic freedom fighters. Watch further to see as Dr. Franz Krenier shares with us his skepticism around the idea that South Africa's youth will turn to radical political positions as advocated for by the EFF. The EFF has grown in strength, but it still struggles to get more than 10% of the vote. Now, does that show, Andre, its strength, or does that show something else? I think it shows something else. South Africa is today a country where more than half of young black men don't have a job, and much more than half of young black women. And that in that context, with all the racial nationalist incitement, party of the marketing genius of the EFF doesn't get much more than 10%, doesn't show you that the country is radicalized or the youth are radicalized. It shows you that there's actually a lot of moderation and common sense amongst people who remain excluded from the country's economy. The, the EFF has grown particularly strongly amongst younger people. Uh, I think in the, that earlier age group I showed with the ANC is at 51%, the, ANC, the EFFs are at 18% in that, and I think it was the under 25 brackets in the country. Um, does that mean that EFF voters support the policies of the EFF? I, I don't think they do. Um, again, sensory perception is, is always a risk. But uh, at the time of the election, two of our colleagues attended the EFF rallies to go and see. And their feedback was essentially the same, that the great majority of people there were little capitalists yearning to be free. They just were fed up with the other political choices, had nothing to do, no jobs. So they went to an EFF rally, joined and if you ask them what they want, they want to run their own businesses and their own homes one day, all at odds with the EFF policy. So, uh, yeah, it's, it certainly serves the interests of the EFF, the ANC's meltdown. I think a lot of the support that the ANC has lost has gone to the EFF. One of the reasons for that is the appallingly poor performance of the DA over the past the decade. Uh, which, which risked the epitaph of the party that's never missed an eye. Do I, do I see radical youth politics overwhelming South Africa's political system and leading us into a Venezuelan uh, hell hole? It's plausible, but my, at the moment, our read of public opinion and our read of the political drift is that the likelihood at this time is that South Africa will move center right toward the end of this decade. But it's obviously the sort of advice you should check back with us on uh, every couple of months. And you're welcome every Monday morning too, if you're not already there. We beg you and I do this podcast, the short one that sets out all these things. If you enjoy our content, make sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. To gain more access to our strategic intelligence services, you can follow the link in the description box below.